Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, <laughs> yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. The Bible tells us lots of things. Good morning, my friends. Thank you for joining me for a time to be in God's Word, to do our morning devotions. Let's sing good morning to God. Ready? Good morning, God. This is your day. I am your child. Show me your way. Good morning, God. This is your day. I am your child, show me your way. <laughs> the way we find out what God's way is, God shows us through his words in the Bible. This morning, our verse comes from the book called 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 15. And it says, since childhood, you have known the Holy Scriptures. The Holy Scripture is another name for the Bible. And in this verse, um, Paul is telling Timothy, reminding Timothy that since Timothy was just a little guy, he was already learning about the Bible, learning verses from the Bible, learning what the Bible has to say. And that's it's very important for all of us to do. And we're going to read about that today in the Tiny Top story. And this story is called Wise Lopez. <clears throat> Lopez watched his favorite program on television, but when it was over, he turned off the TV. He had not learned anything. His mind was not stronger. He picked up a comic book and read it cover to cover. Then he put it down and walked away. He had not learned anything. His mind was not happier. He turned on the radio and listened to his favorite station. He heard a song he liked. Then he turned the radio off. He had not learned anything very important and his mind was not smarter. He thumbed through the library book Ms. Medina had suggested. It was fun to read and interesting. He enjoyed reading a chapter of it and his mind felt busy and active. Then he picked up his Bible and read in 2 Timothy. He memorized a verse in chapter 3. As he read and memorized the Bible, he learned a lot. His mind felt fresh and strong. He felt closer to God. Now he knew why Chipper read the Bible so often. Lopez wanted to be like Chipper and like Timothy, who since childhood had known the Holy Scriptures, which made him wise enough to have faith in Christ Jesus and be saved. The Bible gives us so much knowledge, and the words in the Bible can help us have help us be wise and have faith in Jesus and be saved. There's nothing more important than that. And there's nothing you can do that can teach you things that are more important than what the Bible has. So you have a lot of ways that you can spend your day. But make sure that you're spending time wisely in the Bible, like Lopez, like Chipper, <laughs> and like Timothy in the Bible. Okay? So that you can be wise and have faith in Jesus and be saved. <laughs> Let's pray. Okay? Dear God, thank you for giving us eyes to read with and a mind to learn. Please help us be wise enough to have faith in Jesus Christ. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. <clears throat> One of the ways that you have become wise is by learning 
with John 3, 16, that verse from the Bible that can get, make us wise to have faith in Jesus Christ, let's recite John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. You are wise. <laughs> Good job. I hope you have a terrific day. Spend it wisely. Bye-bye.